Hi there and welcome to this video. My name is Alan Arvindan and I'm a CFA charter holder with about 11 years of experience in the investment finance industry and I'm going to explain you what exactly is the skill called as financial modeling. All right? And we'll try to understand this in a very very simple manner. Let's start with what exactly is a decision. Right? So finance is full of decisions. right? I've listed out some of the examples here. So if you could see here, the first example is obviously a purchasing a stock. right? The second could be you would like to start a business. Third is if you're already in a business and you would like to start a project. And if you're one of those geeky ones, if you want to build a trading strategy, all of these four examples are related to taking financial decisions. right? Now, how is the decision taken? If you think from a very common sense perspective, you try to build a structure for a decision. You try to create an Excel template on which this decision process will flow. You try to collect data and take assumptions. And fourth is finally analyzing the decision points and then taking a decision, right? So let's take an example. If you want to invest in a stock market, let's say Infosys, how would you go about taking the decision, right? So the first part is looking at the price, right? So if you see here, the Infosys stock is priced at about 1335.90, right? Now, how do I decide as an investor, as a mutual fund analyst, as a fund manager, whether I would like to buy uh, if in case I'm trying to invest or if sell if I'm already invested? So the stages of research or taking this decision forward is as follows. First is obviously taking the data. So you would go ahead and download all these annual reports, quarterly reports and all the information that is possibly available publicly. You try to get hold of that. Right? Now, it's not going to end there. You will have to convert that data into a readable format, into a decision making format. So all of these data is obviously not available in Excel. So you'll have to clean and convert the data. Second is you would like to simplify the business. Right. So major part of your time is going to go in understanding how this Infosys business actually works. Right. And what are the matrices which you need to look at very closely. Right. Then you would obviously try to forecast the business. That would mean forecasting its business drivers, forecasting its income statement, forecasting its balance sheet, forecasting its cash flow statement, and then finally come to the fifth step, which is valuation of the business, wherein you would understand whether the price which, which we just saw in the last slide is worth buying or if you already invested, taking a decision whether to sell it. Right. Let's move forward. Now, these are some of the screenshots which I've shown on how the entire financial model actually looks. So if you can see on the left hand side, we've tried to understand how the business actually works. Right. Then we have taken on the right hand side, we've tried to forecast the profit and loss account. If you see on the left hand side, we have forecasted other financial statements as well, which is the balance sheet and the cash flow statement. And finally, doing the valuation of the business and coming and arriving at a price which is worth buying. Now, if the price is not met, if it's more expensive than what we have estimating, then obviously we will not buy. And if the valuation of the business turns out to be higher than what we are estimated or what is available in the stock market, we would go ahead and purchase the stock. Now, who should learn financial modeling? Anyone who wants to take a decision, right? So the financial modeling is not just limited to stocks. It can be applied in various fields, right? But especially this is very, very important if you would like to make a career into finance. So if you are a finance professional, if you are planning to uh, uh, join the higher management, if you are an MBA grant, you would like to apply for niche jobs like equity research and investment banking. If you are a CA, if you would like to get into corporate banking, if you would like to get into credit rating, risk and CFA students, because all of these uh, skill that you learn in financial modeling is the basic skill which is required for you uh, to enter this industry right now if you see the jobs that demand this skill and I'm not just saying that you could go ahead and do a small research on the skills which are required in any of these jobs listed out you will realize that the common skill which comes out to be is financial modeling so you can clearly see here uh, in investment finance, there are three important roles which everybody is aware of investment banking, equity research, wealth management. If you look at corporate banking or corporate finance for that matter, treasury management, startups. Uh, if you're an entrepreneur, you would want to learn financial modeling so that you are able to forecast your business or even try to validate whether your business idea is actually good. Right. 
uh, management accounting if you are part of a senior management you would like to give recommendation to your management whether they should actually start this project or not if you in corporate banking you could be a part of a division which is trying to fund a project which is also called as project finance all the road projects that you see the national highways that you see are all funded by banks and there are two teams at both the end at the banking side as well as the company side who make these financial models and credit ratings companies like Crystal, Erevna uh, there are multiple credit rating agencies even the banks for that matter nowadays uh, make financial models to validate whether you are credit worthy or not risk management uh, obviously since a lot of data is analyzed to understand whether a company is risky whether we are taking higher risk lower risk so all of the finance fields actually see uh, application of financial modeling and especially investment banking and equity research because this that is directly related to uh, giving recommendation or buy or sell all right now why mentor me right so the four things that I could come up with uh, to tell you about my course would be one is the NSC certification. So it has got an inbuilt preparation for the NSC certification. Uh, we offer about 200 hours of live learning. So the learning does not stop in class. It extends to the community, the assignments uh, and also offline mentoring which happens during the week, right? Flexi pass because you can attend multiple sessions. We do not just let you in for one batch and then ask you to pay for all the other sessions and third is industry trainers all the trainers who will be teaching you are people who are actually working in research who've had experience uh, in the investment finance industry and finally why us uh, we have trained close to about 170 students you can check our Google rating our reviews and our trainers uh, have trained close to about 3,000 students across college so that's what financial modeling is and that's what the financial modeling course at MentorMe will give you. And I'll leave you with our slogan, which is to give unbiased, honest career advice and career options to students.